Hi guys, welcome to Silver Lake Honey Queen Rearing Series. In this series, we're gonna describe different methods for raising your own queen bees. Uh, in this series, we're gonna explain uh, different methods like uh, st uh, starter and finisher colonies using two, two different colonies, starter and finisher in the same colony, uh, grafting, raising uh, queen bees with grafting method, raising queen bees without grafting, uh, self-punch method, uh, raising queens from the queen cells, uh, walk away uh, splits and raising queens that way. Then we're gonna describe mini mating nukes, two frame uh, queen mating nukes, uh, all kinds of different and in very interesting topics. So if you've ne not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so and it's going to be very informative and step by step very simple methods it only takes a second of your time and it's free in episode one today's episode we're going to arrange the frames exactly how we do uh, for grafting we're going to do grafting uh, 24 hours later like tomorrow and we're going to use the cloak board uh, cloak board is very simple and uh, a very nice tool to use uh, without disturbing the hive. You just open and close the, the board. And in this episode, we're going to make the cell starter and it's gonna, we're going to use uh, only one hive as our starter and finisher. In the bottom box, we're going to have our queen and then we have the cloak board and then this is going to be our starter and finisher uh, on the top we selected a couple of the highs and moved away from our apiary and we're going to use them uh, to raise our queens so let's make some queen bees first step first step uh, in our uh, episode is going to be to find our queen and put the queen in the in the bottom box and we're gonna rotate the entrance of the hive 180 degrees on the opposite side and uh, so that's gonna be our first step finding the queen and make sure the queen is marked if the queen is not marked we're gonna mark her because these steps we're gonna repeat uh, right after you can do it every week, like every seven days, but we're gonna do probably every 10 days because we don't need that many queens. So in 10 days, when we collect our ripe cells, we're gonna do this process again. And it's a lot easier if you have marked queen to find her in the bottom box uh, if she's marked. So first step is finding the queen and make sure she's marked and she's in the bottom box. So that's our first step. Before we do that, Let's put some gloves on. Uh, I don't like to use gloves when I'm handling or marking the queens. So the best gloves to use for me is uh, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> yeah, so you can use, just uh, rub it like in your, on your hands and bees will not sting you. They don't like uh, the smell. And, when you rub apple cider vinegar on your hands, it's a lot less likely that the, the, que the, the bees will sting you. Okay. Okay, so what we're doing is taking a quick look if we can see if the queen is uh, in the top box. It would be really helpful if we find the queen right away then it's going to be a lot, lot easier for us instead of going through all the hive because uh, 
later when we move the queen down in the first box it'll be a lot easier for us to find her but since this it's uh, the first time we're making the queens this hive it can take a while to find the queen we're also looking for the queen cells we don't want any cells uh, potentially if the queen uh, if the bees starting to make swarm cells then we can't make our queen so we have to make sure and later like uh, when we do this some other time we're gonna inspect also every frame and make sure if there is a queen cell to destroy it and here's the queen right here she was marked yellow but it's almost wiped out so it's last year's queen but she's still going strong so this will make this procedure a lot easier she's right here in the corner so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the new box and put this frame in the uh, I want, what I'm gonna do is take the new box and put this frame uh, in that box and cover it. Okay guys, so here's our queen on this frame. She's right here. Very, very nice queen. She's uh, last year's queen, but a nice one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this frame down in the middle. So, we also turn the bottom board facing okay. other way, that side, as you can see. So that completes our first step. So the, the next step is the frame arrangement of our top box, of our uh, starter and finisher. So, come here. So this is the, uh, the actually the way we're gonna arrange our top box. So on the, uh, we're gonna find the honey frame and put it on the, on the side. Then we're gonna try to find the frame with honey and cap brood and then all cap brood and pollen frame which is gonna be right next to our grafting frame. Uh, so this frame will gonna be a small patch of open brood which will attract uh, the young bees to feed our uh, grafting, uh, grafting larva. So next one is going to be our cap brood and a frame of foundation. So the bees uh, draw foundation on this frame instead of our grafting frame. And the next one is going to be uh, either honey and cap brood or we're going to do uh, probably going to do uh, in frame feeder with, with these two frames. So I'm going to use feeder and this frame is going to be our our grafting frame. So you can raise like up to uh, 60, you know, queen cells uh, by this configuration. This is a bar of 15, uh, but uh, we're going to do 30 only so we're going going for the quality not for the quantity so we want a better queen bees with larger cells instead of having a bunch of cells uh, that bees are feeding they're smaller so we, we want uh, quality queens so this frame is going to be right in the middle so today uh, we're gonna do our this find the frames that are in this configuration and this frame is gonna be in the middle so the bees can polish polish our uh, cells for grafting we said the next step is gonna be arranging the top box as our starter and finisher for our queens so what we are gonna do 
is we moved the frame with the queen and bees down in the bottom box. We're gonna shake four extra uh, frames, brood frames on the, uh, in the bottom box. So it will be five frames of bees, you know, covered, five frames of covered bees in the bottom box. That's gonna be plenty of bees and enough bees to support the queen. And we're gonna give her some room. And on the top box, we need to have 15 frames of bees, uh, of brood frames on the top. So it, it, we need to create really, really uh, like a strong colony that's gonna feed our larvae. And we don't, we're gonna see how many frames of brood uh, we have and bees covering them. And we're gonna use some extra, uh, extra bees uh, extra frames with brood from other beehive and shake also in the, in the top box. So let's find four frames of brood and shake it in the bottom. So that's one frame with the bees, two frames. This is the third frame. This is all open, open brood and larvae. And so we make sure there's no cell. We actually not gonna use, if, because we all this frame is open brood, larvae and eggs, we're gonna put it in the bottom. So we have two. So this is our fourth frame of bee, with bees. And this is all capped, so this is gonna go on the upper. So this is fifth frame of bees. Okay, so I'm gonna put a frame of honey. Okay, so what we have right now is five frames of bees shaken into the bottom box. And we're gonna have some food and a lot of empty space for the queen to lay. And on the top, we're gonna have 15 frames of brood, brood shaking, like all the bees shaking down, and the configuration. So for now, we're gonna cover this bottom box. We know the queen is down with uh, enough bees to support her, and we're gonna put the cloak board. And we're gonna come back later to, our, to add more frames. But for now, I'm gonna cover it and put our second box on the top. Now we're gonna shake all the bees and select only the frames in this order. The reason why we rotate the, the entrance to other side is because this uh, board has entrance here. So all the field bees and foragers will come back and they're gonna come into our top. We want as many bees in the top box as we can to feed our larvae. So we don't wanna use a lot of smoke, just a little bit. Okay, so let's see what we have in this box. So this is the empty frame. So this is good for the bottom. We're gonna put it here and then use it in, in our bottom box. This is our honey frame, so we can use it here. So as, as you can see down, the, our first frame is honey. So we're gonna put our honey frame right next to the wall. Our next frame is honey and capped brood. This frame is all, all pollen, all pollen with a little bit of, of nectar. And 
and uh, honey on this side. So this frame, pollen frame is gonna go right next to our, our larvae. So as you can see here, it's gonna be, go in the uh, fourth spot right next to the grafting frame. So let's put it for, back for now. So this frame is, is cap root and pollen on this side and uh, also cap root and pollen on the other side. So this frame would be good as our uh, second frame. Okay, this frame is all eggs and larvae and some cap root but mostly is eggs and larvae. So this frame is gonna go in our bottom box. So we're gonna shake all the bees from this frame. This is also open brood frame, all eggs and larvae. So we're gonna shake this frame and down and move it down to the bottom box too. If we have extra open brood frames, we're gonna move it to another colony, but we'll see. This is also eggs. And we have some pollen and cap root, but mostly is eggs and larvae. So this frame is going to the bottom. Is this is all pollen. And eggs. So, so this frame has got uh, a lot of cap root and also on the side it's got a small patch of open brood, so we're gonna put it right next to our grafting frame. And this is all pollen frame, so this is excellent frame to put right next to the grafting frame. All pollen. So right here, it's gonna be our, and then our grafting frame. Our grafting frame is gonna go right in the middle and small patch of open brood next to it with pollen. Then we're gonna use one frame as foundation. This is some honey, but we're gonna find another one. It's gonna go on the bottom. This is all honey. So we, we finished the, the, the bottom box. So the, our entrance is uh, open that way and all the returning bees will come up uh, in the second box. We left the five frame of shaken bees down four frame of um, young young brood and uh, we put uh, two on each side drown foundation frames and then honey frames on the side so the queen's got plenty of room to lay and now we're gonna put the uh, our second box on the on top with the cloak board Okay, so now all the bees that are exiting foragers, they're returning back. They're gonna use this entrance and populate this hive. And we have extra open brood frames that we're gonna, gonna transfer to another colony and then shake extra bees here to make this extra strong colony. We also put, uh, Feeder. We're gonna put one to one sugar syrup, and then uh, we're gonna put put the pollen patty also on top of them. This is all cat brood. So, and this is the all honey.
and this is all honey cream. So I'm gonna use Okay, so the setup is honey, honey cap brood, cap brood, pollen frame, rafting frame, small patch of uh, open brood and, and cap brood, uh, foundation, cap brood, honey and pollen, honey. And the rest of the frames are gonna go on the bottom and we're gonna shake uh, five or six more frames of brood on top because this hive is, is now queenless and they will not fight so they're going to clean this grafting frame and we're going to graft tomorrow so after shaking extra bees in this colony that should conclude our episode one of uh, our queen rearing series tomorrow we're going to come and graft into our uh, grafting frame and uh, we're gonna show you how we graft uh, young larvae and also all the steps of raising bees in this uh, cloakboard method uh, i hope you guys like it and thank you very much happy beekeeping <laughs>